All right, we got us a raccoon this morning, but it's not legal till tomorrow, so we're gonna have to let him go. I'll show you how to do that now. We're just gonna use a big old tote here, and I'll show you how to use that. We're just gonna take it, put it on top. Come on, guy. I'm letting you go. I'm gonna let you go. As much as I don't really want to, because you are a big one. Okay, now from here, I'm going to keep pressure on them. I got the kids out with me today because we were just out running errands and I didn't have to check the trap for a few more hours. But I thought since we were in the area, we might as well. What? He's fine. He's fine. What? I'll catch, I'll catch him again. So, his paw is perfectly caught in those offset set jaws. All right, so at this point he's loose. All right, we're just gonna open this up the opposite way. There he goes. We'll catch you later, buddy. I wanna go to Bye, raccoon. There he goes. Not hurt at all. He just ran right off. I looked at his paw. No permanent damage, so he's good. We'll catch him again some other time. As much as I hated doing that, it's the law, so. It was just one day later, then that would have been some nice fur. Because that's a bit that was a big raccoon. So. Alright, now that we let him go, we're gonna reset here. Now the best set to have is a reset. So I know that this will catch animals. I had this thing out, what, what time did we come out here, baby? About three in the afternoon yesterday, and it's 11 o'clock now, so it didn't even take 24 hours, and uh, got us a coon here. So the best thing to do is just reset it. Do everything like you did before. We're gonna dig it back out. Okay. Hey, buddy, you gonna help me? Yeah. yeah, you can help me, guys. Throw some dirt in there. And then, here's what we're going to do. Nope, no leaves. Nope. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. All right, back up, guys, because I'm going to set this trap real quick, okay? Daddy, why can you get one yet tomorrow? If I get one tomorrow, a raccoon tomorrow, I'm going to keep them. Yay. Forever? No, I'm going to... I'm going to... Eat it. <laughs> I might eat it, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to clean out that hole. Go it as far as we can. Okay. Hey, to we're going to take all this and seat that down in the dirt as good as we can. Let's go ahead and set our night latch. There we go. Keep our fingers out of the way. We keep that loose jaw, that uh, loose jaw forward right there. That way in case we do accidentally hit the pan, it doesn't come up and get us. Let's get that rock out of there. Okay. I just want to make sure that this is not going to move at all. Come on. Okay, from here, I'm just going to take a bunch of dirt and make sure that this is seated in the ground because you don't want this to move at all. If the predator steps right here and it shifts, he's just going to dig it up or he's going to go away. He's going to know something's up. So we're just going to make sure that this thing is not going to move at all. And I'll just take some dirt here and just kind of really stuff along the sides and underneath all right from here i'm going to put these latex pan covers on here i'm going to flip that back that just stops the dirt from going underneath the pan because if there's too much dirt underneath there it won't actually go down and trip and then from here here bubba help me get all these 
sticks and leaves out of the way. Leave the dirt. I need all the dirt, but get some of these bigger sticks out of the way. Oh, you like I'm doing that? Yeah, we gotta Can sift all this dirt over there. Yeah, go ahead. There you go. Get a little closer. Get down in there. Just don't. Get a little closer. Get down here. You're doing Mommy. fine. You're doing fine. Mommy. I'm biting it. I see you. And you'll get to a point to where you can do these in just a few minutes. So you can do many traps in under an hour. I think people obsess over trapping a, a little too much as far as, you know, how you set your traps wearing gloves covering your scent making it look perfect i just try to make it look as natural as natural as possible and make it look like there's been an animal here which you can look now and tell that there really has so that helps even more but i don't worry about scent control too much because they're going to smell you no matter what you do but i just try to keep my pan let my pan be the lowest point kind of a don't no 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 you're not ready for that yet buddy you will be don't worry but uh i just kind of entice them to put their foot there they don't want to put their foot here because they don't want to put their foot on this they don't want to put their foot on this mound here they want to put their nose in there and put their foot on a comfortable spot so i may put you know some sticks kind of right there because they're not going to put their foot there put another stick right there I want them to step in right here to where they put their paw right on that trap. What? What in the yell? You're making me nervous. What's in there? I just dug a hole and then watch. Want to smell that? Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice, ain't it? Just going to put some of this stuff on there. Because what's happening, Stace, is they think that an animal oh. came through here and buried something very tasty down here. Animals love stuff that tastes and smell like that. <laughs> they do. So what I do is I put that way down in there. They're gonna come up and smell that. They're gonna think, they're gonna think that an animal buried food for later. And they're trying to steal it because they're thieves, okay? So when they dig it out, as they're digging it out, you hope that they put their foot right there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? All right, from here, we're going to... Watch out, buddy. You don't want this stuff on you. We're just going to spray down the whole set. I just kind of kind of spray down. Got that down. Now I got it on my boots, babe. We got to get back in the car together. Mm -mm. You're walking home. Yeah. You know, spray down the whole set. All right, let's see, we're good. Oh, God, All right, so that's how you do a reset. I know this is a great set now because it obviously worked. Now we just got to try to get a coyote or fox. Anyways, I'm going to hike us out of here, go home, run a few errands, and then uh, I'll see you all back at camp. Okay, my plan for tonight was I was going to stay out here, but I'm going to be gone pretty much all next week and all the week after that. So I think I'm just going to check on things out here, just hang out for a little bit and go back home tonight. Um, I figure since I'm going to be gone pretty much all next week for a trapping class at the Pathfinder School, and then the week after that I'll be gone for five days for the intermediate class, I'm going to help teach at the intermediate class next uh here in a couple weeks so uh i think i'm just gonna hang out here just wanted to check on everything check on the property everything looks good nobody's messed with anything so but right now i've got four traps out uh, i plan on putting a few more out over the season i'm not going to trap any beavers this year just because there there is a nice creek that runs through here and another creek down there but there's no sign of beaver at all 
I'm not going to waste my time. I'm going to check periodically to see if there's any sign, but I haven't seen any dams or uh, any beaver slides or beaver chews or anything like that. There used to be a lot out here when I was growing up as a kid, but uh, it's been a pretty dry year, so there's not much water for them to work with. My main goal this year is coyotes and foxes. Those are my the two that uh, I plan on trapping. Now I have had a few people leave a comment and say, why are you calling this the winter trappers camp when it's not winter? Well, it's not winter yet, but this series is gonna run all the way through winter into March when trapping season ends here in Indiana. So, you know, the, my first couple of videos in this series, it's not gonna be winter time yet. Last weekend when we were here, it was pretty cold and today it's 70 degrees outside. But here, when I come back out with another video here in a few weeks, it's going to be winter. It's going to be below freezing, and that's prime trapping season. You know, the furs are going to be a lot thicker. So even if I caught a coyote now, the fur would not be that great. Um, but this is just practice right now, and I know I've got at least one really good set because it caught a raccoon. Basically, I'm just giving you a short video today, kind of an update, letting you know that I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks, and uh, I'll definitely be back out here. I'm looking forward to this winter. I actually wanted to do this series last winter, but I was not able to put that together. My main plan is to put some traps out, show you guys how to do different types of foothold trap sets, burnt sets, you know, scent post sets, things like that. And then while I'm in here, maybe teach you guys a couple things. I know I want to show you guys how to wet form a leather sheath because I got a bunch of leather sheaths that I made myself that I need to wet form. So I can show you guys how to do that. Maybe show you guys proper knife maintenance while in the field, things like that, just little things that will help you out while you're out here so you'll definitely learn something from every video now i know you guys are going to ask about this new backpack that i got and before anybody says anything i'm not sponsored by these guys i paid for this with my own money it's recycled firefighter there's a firefighter named jake from louisville which is not far from where i live um he takes old fire hose and old bunker gear and old firefighter stuff like that and he'll turn it into packs and wallets and things like that i have a field notes cover that's made out of fire hose i just got this as a kid i wanted to be a firefighter so buying some stuff that's made from a firefighter now i don't think this is made out of old firefighter gear this is 1000 d cordura or however you pronounce that word i'm not that good when it comes to english but plenty big i've got all my 10 c's in here right now and i've got plenty of room this is only halfway full this front side but i'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check them out i just love their company i love the idea and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool and of course most of the gear that i use can be found on my self-reliance outfitters influencer page i'll leave a link down below as well uh, i try not to bug you guys with that too much but i do want to put that in every video that way in case you guys are looking for gear there's a lot of gear heads out there i know a lot of you guys don't want to hear about gear i understand that but i try to make everybody happy so which is not easy to do but you will hear me talk about gear in my videos because there's a lot of you guys that just love gear you're gear heads like i am you know i found out about this company and i ordered this i ordered the field notes cover i've got a couple of mesh pouch inserts that go in here that are coming and it's just a great company with a great concept so but that's going to do it for this video guys once again thank you for 20,000 subscribers we're going to do the 20,000 subscriber special when i get back here in a couple weeks uh thank you all for the support it means a lot we've really come a long way in the year and a half to two years that i've been doing youtube it's been a huge surprise to me and uh you know it's motivated me more than ever to to get out here and try my best to come out with some good videos for you guys. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, but be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell if you would. That'd be pretty cool. And follow me on my Instagram and Facebook pages. I'll leave links down below. Thank you all. Take care, and I'll see you around Thanksgiving time.